So you've installed Blender, made a couple of models, and now you're calling yourself a Blender Guru? Well today I'm gonna humble your b- Today's video is gonna be slightly different than my previous video. Instead of having a longer video that explains a bunch of stuff, I made a huge compilation of random but useful Blender tips and tricks that I've learned throughout my years of 3D modeling. So you're welcome, mother- Merging. If you wanna merge vertices, select all of the vertices that you want to merge and hit M. Then you're gonna see a list of merging types. Merge at center merges all of the vertices to its center point. Collapse is a little more confusing. You essentially merge selected islands to their individual centers. And if you select the vertices one at a time, you get to pick at first or at last, which essentially merges all of your vertices to either the first or last selected vertex. And finally, one of the most important merge types, in my opinion, is merge by distance. It essentially merges all of the vertices that are close to each other based on the special specified distance. Merge by distance is especially good if you have a bunch of overlapping vertices throughout your mesh and you want to merge them all. Quick favorites. So if you have commands that you frequently use, add them to your quick favorites list by right clicking on the command and selecting add to quick favorites. You can also do this to almost all of the commands in Blender. And to pull up your quick favorites list, just hit the tilde key on your keyboard. If you don't know what the tilde key is, it's this key you bozo. Your quick favorites menu is also specific to what type of mode you're in, so the quick favorites in your object mode and edit mode are different. Link data. So you have multiple objects in your scene that are identical but you want to modify the models in the exact same way. Just select all of your models. Make sure one of them is actively selected, go up to the object tab, click on link transfer data, and link object data. And boom! Now if you go into edit mode, it only allows you to edit your active mesh. And when you make changes to the active mesh in edit mode, it'll be applied to the rest of your object. But stop! Before you link transfer data, make sure that the rotation and scale of all of your objects are the same. Otherwise, you're gonna confuse the fuck out of Blender and your models are gonna look like shit. Link material. Similar to link data, if you want to apply the same material to multiple objects, wow. select all of your meshes that you want the same material to be applied to, and and make sure that your active object is the mesh with the material assigned. And then go into your object tab, click on link transfer data and link materials. Snapping. If you want your vertices to align with other vertices along specific axes, on the top of your screen smack this icon and under snap target select vertex. And then now select the vertices that you want to move, hit G to move the vertex, press X, Y or Z to move the vertex along the specified axis, hold control and move your cursor to the vertex that you want to aligned to and you're gonna see an orange square that shows up on the vertex and then you're gonna want to left click x-ray now if you want to enable x-ray mode click on this icon in the top right corner of your screen or hit alt z checkered textures if you don't know what checkered textures are check out my other video but if you want to have checkered textures to make your uv unwrapping easier don't download janky disgusting checkered textures online go into your uv editing window click on the new button above the uv editing viewport name it whatever you want and under generated type select color grid and then click on new image and then go into your material click on the yellow dot beside base color select image texture click on the icon next to new and select your checker texture bend tool if you want to bend your mysteriously shaped object for no particular reason first off add a bunch of edge loops to your model hold shift and right click to set an anchor point for your bend and then hit shift w to bend your mysteriously shaped object now this tool takes some getting used to because where your cursor is when you hit shift w affects how sharp the bend will be. Separate tool. If you want to separate specific faces from an object, select the faces that you want to separate, hit P and click on selection. Additionally, you can also separate by material if you have an object with multiple materials assigned. Or, if you have loose parts, you can also select everything by hitting A and separating by loose parts. Node Wrangler If you want to set up your materials in Blender, don't waste your time by individually importing and hooking up your textures. Go up to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and look for node wrangler now go to your shading window click on the principal bsdf and hit Control, shift and t select the textures that you want to connect and voila the plugin automatically hooks everything up for you quick subdivision instead of going to your modifiers tab and looking for the subdivision modifier select your mesh and hit Control, one two three four or five this applies the subdivision modifier to your mesh based on the number you hit cavity ever looked at tutorials and wonder how they get their models to look super dope 
on the top right corner of your screen, click on this drop down menu and enable cavity. This allows you to better identify the edges on your objects without affecting the final model. And it also looks cool as fuck. Inset individual. Want to inset multiple faces without connecting the inset? Select the faces that you want to inset. Hit I to inset and then hit I again to inset individual faces. Extrude individual faces. Want to extrude multiple faces but don't want them to extrude towards the same point? No dummy, it's not hitting E twice. Select the faces that you want to extrude. Hit Alt E and select extrude individual faces. Knife tool. Want to create specific cuts in your mesh? In edit mode, click on this icon or hit K. And then just make your cuts. Just left click a bunch. I don't know what else to say. It's a knife tool. It's in the name. Additionally, you can also hit A to make cuts along specific angles and C to cut through the entire mesh. Shears. Want to create 90 degree bends on your model? Don't manually bend it. It looks ugly as fuck. Click on the shear tool. Drag the axis that you want to bend towards. Make sure that the offset value is one and now extrude along that new axis. Proportional editing. Want to create organic shapes without going through the pain of sculpting? Use the proportional editing tool to modify vertices and their surrounding vertices. Click on this button above or hit O and then select the vertex that you want to move around. Hit G and scroll up and down to control the size of the gray circle. The gray circle essentially shows you the amount of vertices that will be affected. Creating quick tree branches. Want to create tree branches without using any plugins or speed tree because it's expensive as fuck? Create a plane, hit M and merge to center. This leaves you with a single vertex. And then add a skin modifier to your mesh and add a subdivision modifier below it. And then go into your top view. Move your cursor to where you want the next vertex to be. Hold shift and right click to place a vertex there. You can also select the vertex and hit ctrl a to scale the mesh on the vertex applying all of your modifiers if you have a bunch of modifiers on numerous objects and you want to apply all of them don't waste a bunch of time applying all of them individually select all of your meshes and right click convert to and mesh uh you're welcome first person mode having a hard time navigating through your scene click on shift tilde to enter first person mode in blender now the reason why i call this first person mode is because the controls are basically the same as first person shooters without the shooting so was to move q to go down and e to elevate bridge edge loops want to make a donut without going through the pain of making a donut select two of the faces where you want the hole to be go up to edge and click on bridge edge loops and congrats now you have a hole in your model reference images if you want to import a reference image into your blender scene click on shift a go to image and select references but before you do that make sure your camera is on a specific axis so that your reference images do not spawn in with super messed up rotation and that is about it as per usual i feel like i say this at the end of every video but obviously there's a lot more to learn in blender and there's no way that i could cover all of them in this one tiny video but if you want to learn more about environment art or any other 3d art related topics check out my other videos but yeah that's it i love you bye